Welcome back, everyone. Do you have the right grades, enough volunteer work, or valuable job experience? What does it take these days for our kids to get into the college of their choice? There are a number of deadlines approaching right now for high school seniors and their families. And back with us today is financial advisor and founder of Quest College Program, Robert DeCock. Robert, thanks so much for being with us. I'm glad to be here. Really appreciate it. This is a stressful time of year for a lot of families. It is, and what we find is that uh, the process of the college, of uh, getting into your college is driving them as opposed to the parents actually driving the process. Really? So and it's important that parents are driving this process? Parents and students need to drive the process. Okay. Yeah. So you have some important information or advice for students right now, seniors specifically. Seniors. Let's start with get your applications in. Okay. The very first thing that you need to realize is that in the college process there are four decisions. Right. The first one is which colleges uh, you are researching, which ones you're exploring. The second one is which colleges you are applying to. And the third one is which colleges accept you. Okay, that third one you don't control. But the second one is where m many families find themselves today. And that is which colleges um, are we going to apply to. So the very first thing, it may sound very simple, is that you have to make sure that you get your applications in on time and, and that they are complete. And you say winter break, you oh, really shouldn't have them in. Um, some, each college has their own deadlines and some of the deadlines are rolling so they don't necessarily stop in the first part of February. So depending upon the school, you really have to know what they're expecting. Okay, know the criteria on which you're gonna base your decision. What does that mean? Right, as um, a parent myself, students base their decision on which colleges they're gonna go to on many different things. And probably the, the top one was uh, a student was gonna go to UW-Milwaukee because it was close to the beach. Uh -huh. Okay, um, we make this decision, we want to make this decision on really good quality uh, so points. So really know what you're going to make your know decision based doing. on. We're running out of time quickly. Understand and know your expected family contribution or financial aid package. You say just go in, make the call, contact the financial aid office. Oh, absolutely. And better yet is that you need to understand how the expected family contribution works. Okay, the important thing is that the government is going to tell you, your family, how much you're going to pay. All right, and that's dependent upon income and assets, both of you as a parent and of your student. Okay, how this works, why it works the way it does, uh, is going to determine your financial aid package. And as a result, many parents inadvertently disqualify themselves from merit-based aid and need-based aid because they don't understand really why it works the way it does. Okay. Well, I know you have a couple of seminars coming up, and you've got a lot of helpful information for parents and seniors on your web page. We've posted a link to Quest on our web channel, NBC15.com. Look under news links. Robert, thank you very much. We had a whole other set of issues we wanted to talk about for underclassmen and what they need to be doing right now, too. We're going to have you back in and start looking at those issues as well. Appreciate Thanks time. so much, Robert.